Hey everyone, Amber from Amber Approved, your leading health food expert. This week, I want to talk a little bit about the perfectionist mindset and the consequences of delaying our health. So I used to think that I'd find a new eating style or I'd find this program to lose 20 pounds in a month or some sort of quick fix. And I think this is the thing is that is going to fix me. Um, And in fact, I would start in it, it would be going so well, and then I'd end up self-sabotaging again, I'd end up binge eating or emotional eating, and the whole vicious cycle would start all over again, and then I'd be like, oh, maybe this thing will fix me, and then I would end up getting into that, and again, it would maybe go well for a couple weeks, and then I'd fail, be triggered, and end up eating again and back in self-sabotage, and I felt like a failure, I felt like things were hopeless, like I would never overcome my food addiction, and it became very frustrating, so... What I want to talk about is that quick fixes don't work. They are not meant to balance your physical and emotional health. They are meant just for that, a quick fix, which may not be healthy for you physically and definitely not emotionally. So a question that I want you to ask yourself is, why are you choosing the way that you're eating or this quick fix program? Is it to lose weight? Is it because you're not happy with your body and you want a quick solution? Is this why? And if you're answering yes, then start exploring, okay, why do I need a quick fix? What if this causes more harm than good? This may not be actually safe and healthy for me. And what are some healthier, safer options that you might be able to go to? As um, often, which segues me into my next topic, these programs and quick fixes usually require you to be perfect on them to see the results that you want to see. And if you're not perfect, then you don't see the results. And again, then you feel like a failure. You feel like you're not good enough, like you you know, you're never going to be able to overcome your health challenges and struggles, which again, doesn't feel good for anybody. And I find perfectionism to be far too rigid and not realistic. And it doesn't leave us any room to be human. And we are just that we are human. We're on this earth. And every time we make a mistake, or we mess up, or we fall off track, there's always a valuable learning from doing so. And if we can shift our mindset and explore those learnings, and move forward from that and practice forgiveness instead, we are going to end up with a much healthier relationship with ourselves. Uh, And the last thing that I want to talk about are some of the consequences of delaying your health journey. So there can be smaller and bigger consequences of doing this, including, you know, gaining more weight, having more symptoms and your suffering gets worse. You feel more doubtful and fearful about making changes because it's going to take longer, the longer you delay. And, And how does this serve you and that it doesn't really serve you, but that you're just so overwhelmed that it's easier to do nothing at all than make any changes. So I'm going to be talking about and exploring all three of those topics in much more depth in the new episode of the No Sugar Coding podcast, which comes out on Sunday this week, um, which is going to be fantastic. It's episode 51. Uh, If you'd like, you can join the private Facebook group for the podcast uh, by clicking below. Subscribe to me on YouTube. And you can find the link to check out the podcast here. You can also check it out at amberproof.ca forward slash podcast forward slash 51. Thanks so much. And we'll see you next time. 